Hey guys, Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic and Web Design. I got a WYSIWYG Web Builder 9 tutorial for you. And today we're going to build a mobile website. Now from scratch, I'm going to show you how I set up the page and how I uh, how I basically design it. It's going to be a pretty basic site, not, not too flashy, not a lot of stuff. We want to just get the basics covered for you and not hold you up for an entire hour or whatever. So to get started, all you're going to do is uh, open up a brand new page. You can see I have just a blank page index HTML. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into page properties uh, over here and I'm going to change it from HTML to PHP. I work in, I don't, it's, it doesn't really matter what you use. I use PHP so that way I, I don't forget to switch it if, I, if I'm using a page that needs PHP like a, like a contact form or something. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. The next thing, target screen size. You're going to change that from user to find change it to Apple iPhone. This is going to work on all mobile devices, all mobile phones, uh, not just the iPhone, but we do that because it adds uh, some back-end code that we need. Um, we can leave the rest of this. Let's go ahead and center the page. It really doesn't matter because we're going to build the page the exact width. But we'll center the page. Um, style. We're just gonna. I'm gonna leave all of this the way it is because, like I said, I'm not gonna get into doing too much in this line of style. We want to make sure we get everything set up correctly. So the important things are to make sure that you have your target screen screen size set to Apple iPhone. Let me center the page in the in the browser window. Hit OK. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us a page that's 320 pixels wide. So I'm gonna grab from my rulers here on the side. I'm gonna grab a guide. I'm going to drag that out to 320. And you can see that little tooltip how it says 320 for the X value. And I'm going to drop it. Uh, so real quickly, let's go up to Tools. And um, where would I find it? I thought it was in Tools here. Page. I'm trying to find. Here we go. Okay. So. Um, if you don't have the rulers turned on, if you click on View, make sure you can turn on the grid. You can turn on the rulers and the guides all at once. Okay, if you don't have any of that stuff turned on right now. So I'm gonna drag one out to 320 because this is the width of the iPhone from here to here. That's the width of the screen. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag one out and drop it at 300. Okay, because this is gonna give me some padding, so that way none of my stuff comes right to the edge. And I'm gonna drop one more at 20. It gives me 20 pixels of padding on each side of the screen. Now what I'm going to do is hover over one of my guides until I see this cursor. I'm going to right click. I'm going to lock all guides. That way if I accidentally grab one and drag, it doesn't move on me. And lock all guides will lock all three of those guides on me. The height doesn't matter. We can have this uh, any height we want because the user will be able to scroll with the thumb using the scroll gesture. Okay, so that's the right size. Next thing we're going to do is put in a header. So for that, you can use either a shape or a layer. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it white, actually, and I'm just going to put in some logo text. Because I'm going to have a splash of color where the menu bar goes. Okay, so what do I want to use? Let me see who's taking in that. 20, and we'll center it. And that's good enough for here. Okay, so next, next thing I'm going to grab is a menu bar. So, let me think about this. Do I want this menu bar? Yes. Okay, I'm going to grab the one that says menu bar. No, you know what? I lied. I'm sorry. I'm going to grab the one that says... I think it's CSS menu. Let me double check. Yes. Okay, we're going to grab the one that says CSS menu. Okay. And so the first thing we're going to do is change these values up here. So the width, we want that to be... Um, let's, let's do this first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's remove all of the buttons. We only want one button on the first one. It's going to say menu. Okay. After that, we can add more. We're going to add home. We can add about. We'll see why in a second. 
services, contact, anything you want. Okay. So now you'll see that there's two different sections here. There's one at the top that says main menu, one at the bottom that says sub menu. Where it says menu, that's the that's how we style the main menu. And where it says uh, home through contact and all these items below that that are indented, that's the sub menu. So that's how we style those. But for the main menu, what we want to do is we want to have it a fixed width, which means that the size of the actual button here, right, like where it says button one, that's it's going to be a fixed size. If we clicked on variable, which is the other option, then that means that the size of the button can change depending on the length of the word that's in there. But we want it to be a fixed width, and we want it to be the width of the screen, 320 pixels. The height, I don't know, 50, whatever, whatever you like for a height is fine. Um, let's go 40, maybe a little bit smaller. Eh, 45, we'll go in between. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And that's good. Okay, so now we can select a border. I don't do border. Um, the background, you can choose uh, a color. So I'm going to choose. Let's just go Dodger Blue. It's my fave. Now select Dodger Blue again for the hover color. There actually is no hover on mobile. Um, but there's a chance that somebody may see this from a desktop client. So I'm going to go ahead and do the appropriate styling. Okay. Border. We don't, I'm not going to do a border. Okay. Images, I'm not going to do any images, I'm not going to do any shadow. Now we're down to the text, I'm going to change the text. I'll put to Homo because it's my faves. 12. I'm going to change the color to white so we can see it on that blue background. And that's good. That's good enough. That's all we really need. Okay, in the sub menu, I'm actually going to do the exact same way no border. Background, same background colors. Border, no border. Images, no image, no shadow. Text, white, white. To home, uh, and maybe I'll um, something happened here. Yep, I got the wrong color for the cover. Okay, and I think I'll go a little bit. I'm going to go 11. I'm going to stay a little bit smaller, but not much smaller. Okay, and also the size. The size again is going to be 320 in the layout. I forgot to do this. And we'll make it a little bit shorter, but maybe 35. It's perfect. And hit OK. Now you'll see that this menu is exactly the size of our layout. And the reason we did it that way, because on a mobile device, remember I said that there is no hover. So what happens is, when you have an object that requires a hover on a mobile device, it's actually going to require a click. So as soon as somebody taps on that, then this drop-down menu will appear. So the next thing I want to do, actually, is um, center those letters. I want to make sure that was in the middle, and I didn't do that. So I go to Text on the submenu, and Alignment, I want the center. Hit OK. Let's preview, and there we go. So even though I'm hovering, this is what's going to happen when somebody actually clicks on the word menu. This is going to drop down. Okay. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. So the next thing we're going to do is add in a little picture. I'm not sure what. I'll find something. I have a tiny, tiny, tiny little library here. With images. See if I got anything in my old my site images. Not really. Uh, Google assets. I have stock photos. Um, let's do a healthcare healthcare photo generic. Drop it in. There we go. Okay, I'm going to drop some text in below that, kind of like a caption for the photo. Okay, let me just fix this real quick. 
paste that in there. And we're going to get rid of some of it. There's a lot there. We'll get rid of it here, I guess. And we'll style it a tiny bit. Not too much effort into it. Not too bad, not too bad. And now what we want to do is let's go ahead and add in a call to action button. We need to do that using a shape. And if you haven't seen my how to make a button out of a shape tutorial, well, you probably ought to go check that out. That was my very first tutorial I did. I'm going to do a solid button. I'm going to get rid of the um, border. I'm not going to do enable hover because, again, on a mobile device, if you have anything that's hover, one click is going to change it to the hover state so that's going to annoy people because if they want to double click if they want to click on the button to, to do the call to action they actually have to double click on it it's really annoying so we're not going to do that and we just leave it with Arial 11 white change the background color to the button color so that way we can see it use any lace text we're going to center it up which it already is and we're just going to put in something like uh, by now or whatever, whatever your call to action may be. So I'm just gonna put in learn more and for whatever reason the stinking thing went back. So holding down the uh, alt key, I'm gonna push zero one eight seven. That's gonna give me this uh, this symbol right there. And so we gotta go and do this again, looks like. Hit OK, and there's our button. OK, so it's starting to come together pretty well. And we're going to throw in a real quick footer. So to do that, I am just going to use a shape. Could use a layer if you'd like. I'm going to turn off the border. I'm going to make it kind of dark. Matter of fact, I might even go a little bit darker and go um, four, four, four. It's not bad. Okay. Proceed, Control V, just to copy and paste this. Put on a quick copyright. Okay, and there you go. There you have it. That's a real quick, uh, real quick demonstration of how to do the the, uh, the mobile site. And if we just preview this, um, that's an issue. All right, let's fix that real quick. I think what we need to do is just bring the menu up to the top. So what I'm going to do is hit Format. Um, maybe it's under Insert Arrange. Duh. Hello. Okay, hit arrange and just click on move the front and hopefully that worked. There we go. Okay. So that'll be a button so we can push. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this real quick so we can check it out. You can go to it and check it out on the phone if you'd like. Um, so the first thing I gotta do here. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Publish. And I need to explore first. What I'm going to do is create a folder to put this in. It's not going to affect my website. So if you hold on a sec, I'll go ahead and create that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so basically what I've done is I created a, uh, a subdirectory here called demo, and I'm going to publish this into that subdirectory, and I also renamed it from being index to being mobile-demo. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll put a link for this in the show notes. I'll use a Google link uh, so it's a little bit shorter and easier to read. Let's go ahead and preview, make sure it's working and live. And it didn't, uh, I gotta put in the demo here. And there it is. Whoop. Beautiful. 
network so you should be able to go view that on your phone it should look nice what you will notice when you check this out on your phone is that the pinch to zoom has been disabled um, just like on a real mobile website or a uh, phone that you might expect and also everything is sized correctly if, if you tried to do this without selecting that Apple iPhone you'll, you'll run into some problems things won't be sized right and uh, also you'll be able to kind of zoom in and zoom out on the website like you would on a full-size website um, so it doesn't doesn't feel like a mobile website with this one if you check it out on your mobile phone right now uh, you'll see that it does feel like a, a mobile site so hopefully this helped you getting your mobile site set up again important things to remember make sure you set your in the page properties set the target screen size to Apple iPhone okay uh, I always change this to PHP but it doesn't matter if you don't that's fine make sure you center the page and just remember that anything that has a hover to it requires a click on a mobile device there is no hovering on a mobile device keep those in mind while you're designing and I think you're gonna be all set if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I love doing these videos for you wish I had more time to do more of these videos but I have been very very busy uh, lately so looking forward to a slow season where I can start cranking out some more of these if you have any questions for me you can reach me on my website bjholder.com slash wwb that's where I hang out and that's where I put all these videos for you guys so uh, I appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thanks.